And we're back in the attic. So today we're going to talk about the Honeywell HZ432 zone control board. How to uh, use it, how to configure it, how to go through testing, and what all these lights mean. So here we go. <laughs> I tried to fit this video into a short, but it's just not going to happen. So anyway, first things first, we have our basic displays. Uh, it tells us what mode. So this is heat one, heat two, heat three, uh, cool one, cool two, fan, purge, emergency heat, and then zones. So red means it's heating. Um, anything's red means it's on, or I'm sorry, red is for heating for the zones. If it's green, that means it's open. If it's red, that means it is closed. If it is closed, it's sending 24 volts to the zone damper. Um, if it's open, there's no power if it's spring open. So we'll go ahead and pull this panel off. So under here we have the emergency heat button. We can switch that in case our heat pump's not working. Now this is actually a heat pump. Um, so you can see here we have our heat pump uh, setup. So right here's your dampers. This is your thermostat and this can do up to four zones, okay? Right here, this is our screen, DATS. That's our discharge air temperature sensor. It's detecting 81 degrees Fahrenheit. So zone one, two, three, and four. This is going to the equipment. That's our 24 volts uh, from our transformer. This is our DATS. And you can hook up a, um, an outdoor temperature sensor. And then you could also hook up those, you know, the wireless thing right here too. So anyway, um, and then that outdoor will go here on the two OTs. So anyway, right here we can see we're in home. So that's basically normal operation mode, uh, configure. So that's gonna give us our settings and check out that basically puts it in test mode. Okay, so if we hit this button here, which is our mode button, this takes us into configuration. So here we can, you know, change our settings. Uh, we're not going to, but this is a heat pump, so we have it. You can see the brackets are in heat pump. Uh, if we wanted to change that, we use these two arrows here. See, now it's a conventional. Now it's heat pump. We want to go to our next setting. We hit next, or we can go back. We'll go ahead and next. Dual fuel, yes or no. No, it's next. Oh, we messed up, we want to go back. We can go back, all right? So we can set our compressor stages. This only has one, one, one stage. Uh, auxiliary heat. Yes, we want that RF enabled. That's if we have the uh, wireless, you know, the wireless thing uh, for the wireless thermostats. Uh, we don't have one, so no. And that'll basically go into another uh, configuration. Now, if you're only using three zones or two zones on this, you can do that. Right now we're using four, but we could change it to three, two, you know, or none. we can tell it how it's uh, wired. So we could actually have a thermostat wired for conventional heat and just tell it, hey, it's wired conventional, see? So we would go to here and we would just, boom, conventional. So now if we had a W, it will know that that's heat. But we're gonna do heat pump O, which means default heat. And then there's also heat pump B, which is default cool. But we have train units, so they're default heat. And then you can do that per zone. Stage two control, do we want the thermostat to ask for it or do we want the zone board to ask for it? See, so you can put it on a timer or you can do percentage of zones or you can just turn it off altogether. We'll put it back on the thermostat. And now we can get into some more advanced configurations or you can skip it if you don't need to, but let's see what it looks like. So we can adjust our purge time. We can um, fan in purge. Do we want the panel to call for a fan while it's in purge or do we want to just, you know, let it do whatever it was doing? So in this case, whenever it goes into purge, it'll call for fan. Okay, purge dampers. We want all of them to open during that or you can set it where it just stays the way it was. Okay, change over delay, 15 minutes. That's basically between heat and cool. So if one thermostat's calling for heat, one thermostat's calling for cool, it'll wait 15 minutes between swapping. Discharge sensor, if 
we don't have one, we can tell it, nope, there isn't one. Uh, we can set a high limit, which is 140 right now. We can set a low limit of 35. So you can use this as a free stat. And that's uh, utilizing the, the DATS, which is the discharge air temperature sensor. It's right over there. Okay. And I don't know what that is. I forget what that, yeah, but we'll leave that as. Uh, M MSTG outdoor lockout, yes. Not sure what that stands for. Um, outdoor temperature lockout. This doesn't really apply to us because we don't have an outdoor temperature sensor. So we're kind of screwed on there. You can change the brightness of the screen. And then it's like, do you want to save changes? No, we don't. But if I did, I would say yes. And then I hit next and say, and then it'll save those changes. Okay. So now it's an override, or I'm sorry, it's in a purge. If we want to override it, we can just hit the next button and it'll do that. See the yellow light? That means it's a purge and it's calling for fan and it's opening all the dampers as per our settings. So we'll go ahead and skip that. Now you can see the fan shut off and now it's back to receiving the calls from the stats. So if we hit mode again and we hit it one more time, this takes us into checkout. Now checkout mode will allow us to turn things on. Now if this had an outdoor temperature sensor, it would show the temperature there, but we don't have one, so that's why it's saying it's not connected. We hit next. This is our discharge air temperature sensor. It's reading about 85 degrees right now. That's because the heat was just running. Here's where we can test heat. We can go to, in this case, it's a heat pump, so it'd be stage one, which would just be the outdoor heat pump, and stage two, which would be the outdoor heat pump plus the auxiliary heat strips. And if we hit next, we can test our emergency heat. And some of them, you know, they have two stages of heat, so we could do, you know, individual circuits. You can turn on the air conditioner, turn on the fan. Now here, this is where we can test the damper to make sure they're opening and closing. So zone one, uh, we can close it. So it automatically they'll all open and then it's gonna call for fan, all right? So I'm not sure what zone that is, but you can see it's open. So let's go ahead and close this one, see if that's zone one. So now you can see zone one has is red because that means it's closed. That has not done anything, so I don't think that's the right one. So we'll hit next to go to the next zone. Close it. Still not doing anything. Another thing too is if you're doing these things, please label your dampers. Makes it so much easier. Nope. So this must be zone four. Or no, it's a fresh air intake. Durr. Okay, well, you get the idea. So that's really powerful when you're testing. Here you can see what the thermosets are calling for. So zone one right now is calling for W1, uh, Y1, and G. Okay, zone two, same thing. Zone three, it's not calling for fan, just for heat pump and auxiliary heat. And we're asking for fan, heat pump, and auxiliary heat. And then if we hit next, we can exit it. So that's going to do its little thing and go back to home mode. And then it's going to purge. And then once we hit next to override the purge, or if the purge, uh, you know, finishes, it's going to go ahead and um, go back into whatever the thermostats are asking for. So we'll hit next. So yeah, there you go. So thermostats for all four zones are asking for heat one, heat two, and fan. So that's a quick little overview of the uh, uh, Honeywell HZ432 zone control board. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really good uh, really good zone board. It's very universal. You can do a lot of different things with it. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're ever doing a heat pump situation with one of these, make sure you hook up an outdoor temperature sensor because we can set outdoor lockouts where it won't call for the heat pump outside when it's like below a certain temperature. We can't do that because it has no idea what's going on outside. So, and then you can hook up an EIM to this thing so you can do, you know, red link stuff too. So anyway, anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.